Welcome back everyone, Sean Stevens here again with Metroplex Mortgage Services, bringing you another USDA Loan Pro video quick tip. We commonly receive questions on today's topic. In our video today, I will share with you the details to help keep your all important financing headed to the closing table. But before we get started, don't forget to download our USDA Blueprint for Success for the link below. This free guide is designed to help walk you through the USDA process step by step. It is a great resource for both home buyers and their realtors alike. So what are the key differences between a USDA and an FHA loan? In today's video, I will compare USDA and FHA loans side by side and show you the facts. Although USDA and FHA loans are both thought of as first-time homebuyer programs, there are key differences between the two loan options. First off, down payment. USDA loans offer 100% financing, which does not require a down payment. On the other hand, an FHA loan requires a minimum down payment of 3.5% of the purchase price. So on a sales price of $150,000, your minimum FHA down payment would be $5,250 compared to zero for a USDA loan. Next, we have closing cost. Closing costs will be applicable on both USDA and FHA loans. And even though a USDA loan offers no down payment, this should not be looked at as the same as no money out of pocket. However, a USDA loan does allow for you to finance closing costs into the loan when the appraised value is higher than the contract sales price. This can be an extremely attractive feature depending on the appraised value, which FHA loans do not permit. Next up, you have mortgage insurance. When putting the minimum 3.5% down on an FHA loan, it will require a monthly mortgage insurance premium of 0.55% of your loan amount for the full mortgage term and also a one-time financed upfront mortgage insurance premium of 1.75%. However, while a USDA loan does not technically have mortgage insurance, it still has what is called an annual fee that is calculated monthly within your payment. And although this fee is for the life of the loan, because it is only 0.35%, this is over 50% lower than the FHA mortgage insurance premium. Additionally, USDA has a one-time finance guarantee fee of 1%, which is also lower than the 1.75% FHA finance mortgage insurance. In summary, since many banks and lenders do not specialize in USDA loans, we commonly see home buyers only offered FHA or even conventional programs. I founded Metroplex Mortgage Services way back in 2001, and on top of being a top-ranked USDA-approved lender, my team is known for our overall government loan expertise in helping walk home buyers through the mortgage qualifying maze. If you need help, that is what we're here for. Just call or email to discuss your scenario and let us show you the Metroplex difference. Remember, you can download our USDA Blueprint for Success with the link below. And as always, I want everyone to make it a great day and look forward to seeing you right here for the next Tip of the Week.